And at this time, we are truly excited to be joined by the golden boy himself, the 10 times six division world champion, Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar, thank you for joining us here on stage. Thank you. And for the press conference. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, say, you uh, kicked the year off with a great fight. Ryan Garcia and Luke Campbell here in the great state of Texas. You continue to bring these fights to Texas. How excited are you to be yet again here in the Lone Star State? Yeah, no, we're, we're super excited. Um, the fact that we keep coming back is because the fight fans are very, very knowledgeable here in, in Texas. They, they know their boxing. They know their fighters. They, they, they support uh, the sport. So, um, you know, we came uh, uh, for the first time uh, uh, this year with Ryan Garcia in a very, very difficult, tough fight against Luke Campbell, who, uh, who went up against uh, Lomachenko, who went up against um, Linares, and uh, got dropped for the first time in his career, and came back uh, from adversity and uh, was able to knock him out. So those are the types of fights that we want to put together, and uh, this obviously is no exception. Um, you know, Maurice Hooker is a is not an opponent. He's not. He's he's a contender. He's a champion. He's a uh, you know he's a, a, a real you know fighter who uh, is going to come to win. And Virgil Ortiz is a fighter who uh, you know who is on a great streak, who has the abilities to go as far as he wants to go, and um, you know that's the reason why we're here. Uh, we want to bring the fans the best fights, and we have no doubt in our minds, um, you know, that we have the best team. We have uh, great matchmakers. We have, uh, uh, you know, from Eric Gomez to uh, Robert Diaz to uh, David Tutro to everybody on the team, everyone who makes all this possible, um, you know, gives the fight fans the best, the best action uh, out there, uh, bar none. Right, and in the co-main event Saturday night you got a huge world title attraction between Annabelle and, I understand, Sinisa Estrada. How excited are you to see this fight finally happen, and how huge of a test is this for Sinisa? I, first of all, I'm a fan of, of, of both uh, young ladies. Um, you know, women's boxing is on the rise, and um, is here to stay, and is only going to get bigger and better. I, I strongly feel that... Uh, uh, I strongly feel that uh, this fight here uh, has the making to uh, to steal the show. Um, you know, no no uh, disrespect to uh, the main event, but you know, uh, women's boxing when they go up in the ring, they they literally give it their all, and that's very admirable. And um, you know, I think a lot of fighters should take uh, should take a page from uh, from that from that book. Um, you know, it's. Uh, Sanisa is, is, is a fighter who, uh, who just, uh, you know, gives it her all. She has a dream. She has a goal of becoming, you know, uh, uh, the greatest, the best. And that's very admirable. And I, I love the fact that she comes from East L.A., where I grew up, which is amazing, which is incredible. So, um, you know, and uh, Anabel, uh, who's, who's coming here for the first time from Mexico City, is, uh, is, is a dream come true for her. So... Both fighters know what's on the line. Both fighters are, are, are gonna give it their all. And again, look, our matchmakers um, here at Golden Boy, we by far put on the best fights. And we're on the best platform, The Zone. So we, we feel very, very proud of our product, of what we, of what we deliver, you know, from production to, to the fights, to everything. Uh, Golden Boy Promotions, uh, I can't say that is the best promoter out there. Absolutely. Now let's talk about Virgil Ortiz. He's gone above and beyond his worth ethic, and even in boxing with, with his standards, do you believe that he's the future of the welterweight division? Well, I mean, on paper, on paper, everyone keeps, uh, keeps uh, you know, jotting him down, you know, that he's the best and the, the next coming, and uh, look, it, it's up to him. I, I, if you ask me if he's the next big thing in, in the welterweight division, I mean, he first has to get past uh, Maurice Hooker, and that's no easy test. It's, it's not a walk in the park, it's, not, it, it's a real fight. And I'm, I'm saying this from, from experience, I'm saying this because I've been in the ring, I've been in there, you know, and have to lace up the gloves. It's like no other promoter out there can say that, right? that he's laced up the gloves, like I have. 
So I can talk from experience that this is a real fight, this is a tough fight, both guys uh, are putting everything on the line. And yeah, if he beats Maurice, then absolutely, he's, he's going straight to the top. And guess what? There's a lot of welterweights out there uh, who, are, who, are, who are actually not waiting in line to fight him, let me tell you. You know, they're, they're, there's fighters out there like Crawford, there's fighters out there, uh, um, um, you know, who, uh, who, have, who have the name, who have uh, that championship pedigree, but I'll tell you one thing, um, you know, Virgil Ortiz gets past uh, uh, Hooker, uh, then, uh, then I'm pretty sure that uh, Virgil will put everybody on blast. When Virgil, or if Virgil wins his fight, who do you want to see him take on next? I, I, I can't say. I, I really can't say. I, I don't want to say because, uh, because this is a real fight. And, and, and there's no disrespect to uh, Maurice Hooker. I, 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 feel that, uh, I feel that this is going to be a great fight and fight fans have to tune in and, uh, and we'll wait and see. You know, after, after the fight finishes, whoever wins, uh, then, then we'll take it from there. Absolutely. Maurice Hooker. Definitely hungry, motivated, and he has proven himself he's a pound for pound world champion. What makes him dangerous to take on Virgil Ortiz? Yeah, his style, his style, his, his, his abilities, his, his, uh, his experience. You know, um, uh, he's going to show Victor uh, different angles. You know, his speed, his, uh, his ring IQ. So it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different style than what Virgil has, has been up uh, against uh, in the past. You know, but look. Uh, Virgil has a, a great corner, uh, a great father, a great team behind him who uh, obviously they've done their due diligence and they've done their homework and they've studied uh, Maurice uh, up and down, left to right, you know, inside and out, I'm sure. Uh, so that's why I feel this will be an amazing, amazing fight. And, you know, I've said before, oh, you don't want to miss it. Well, obviously when Virgil Ortiz fights, uh, you know, I I'm telling you the truth, you don't want to miss it. Right on, and you know, Golden Boys produce many great superstars, Canelo, Manny Pacquiao, uh, Mayweather. Is Virgil Ortiz the next big star in the stable, and what has been the recipe for Golden Boy success? Yeah, no, we've, we've promoted, uh, yeah, we've promoted, what, 10 of Mayweather's fights, we've promoted a few of Pacquiao's fights, we've promoted Canelo for the last 10 years, um, we've been able to to kind of have that recipe on how to promote and how to make superstars like uh, Ryan Garcia, uh, like uh, uh, Virgil Ortiz and Jojo, and uh, you know, the list goes on. Um, does he have the ingredients? Look, I mean, we've also promoted fighters that haven't passed the test. You know, we've promoted fighters who were supposed to be, or we've promoted fighters who have you know, surpassed our expectations, you know? Again, it's up to the fighter. It's up to the fighter inside the ring. In boxing, you're as good as your last fight. And in boxing, you're as good as that one fight that's in front of you. So when you ask me, is Virgil gonna be the next? It's up to him, that's it. You know, he has the ingredients, he has the pedigree, he has the work ethic, he has the heart. Um, all he has to do is, uh, is, is reach out and grab it, that's it. Certainly marketable as well. Oscar, thank you for joining us here for the press conference as always. And uh, we look forward to seeing you this weekend as Virgil Ortiz takes on Maurice Hooker. Thank you. Gracias. Eagle on a track.